Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about how to do product research for Shopify dropshipping. So the first step is going to be pulling up the website AliExpress, which I have here. A screenshot of their website is AliExpress.com. So uh, right now we're going to go ahead and go to the website. So AliExpress.com right here is the place where you're going to be supplying your store with products. Uh, this is pretty much the uh, Chinese website where you're going to find manufacturers and uh, basically find your products that you're going to be drop shipping to your customers. So the first step uh, to find products to do product research uh, for your Shopify drop shipping store on AliExpress is to figure out a niche. So today, for today's example, uh, they have many different uh, niche categories here already kind of picked out for you. Um, so today we're going to be looking at. Uh, say shoes and bags see it should be able to mouse over um, but you basically come over to the categories um and then you know you pick which one you want so let's say actually instead of uh, bags and shoes let's go ahead and go with men's clothing ah see there it goes it pops up into the secondary menu which is a whole nother list of sub niches within the men's clothing sector uh, and that should do it for all of them yeah see here computer and office you have all these little sub niches so it's kind of like the main niche of like say a uh, jewelry uh, and then you have fine jewelry of wedding engagement men's watches women's watches fashion jewelry and then even within those there's subcategories as you see necklaces and pendants uh, charms body jewelry so let's actually stick with jewelry since we're already on this page let's go to charms so we're going to see what kind of charms are most popular and to figure out what has the most orders which is that you're going to want to do this for every uh uh, product that you're trying to do research into um, as you can see I didn't really like search for any specific products here I uh, just clicked on the categories and went into it that way uh, which is you know there's many different ways that you can kind of find like a specific product but this is this is a good way to kind of get a niche already niche down so you have all categories jewelry accessories jewelry sets and then you have charms so when you're on this charms page you're going to want to click sort by orders and you're going to want to select yeah orders so this is going to show you the most ordered items within this uh, subset within this sub niche so as you can see uh you know there's um antique feet there's owls, so there's uh, owls and cats in here, which, you know, that could be a niche. You could have an owl store or a cat-based store and then sell, uh, you know, a couple of those couple of those uh, charms. As you can see here, there's uh, many different products. Now, what this little green box is here and this little blue uh, tag button is also uh, very important. And the way that this will pop up for you on AliExpress is by installing the Oberlo plugin. Uh, which is a Shopify um, app that allow. This is pretty much your bread and butter for drop shipping. You would just go ahead and click on this button, and then that would add it to your um, list. I'm actually not going to go in and show you um, how to exactly add that because that's a that's a whole different video. Today we're just focusing on product research, but that is how you would add it to your store. Um, add these products to your store. It's really easy. You just click that button, and it goes in and uh, fulfills it into your Oberlo dashboard on Shopify, uh, which I'll have that name up on screen as well for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but that is how you actually add these products to your store. But um, to do the product research, which is what we're doing today, just kind of showing you through um, what AliExpress looks like. Uh, you also want to make sure when you do get that plugin, the Oberlo plugin, which allows you to see that they have ePacket, which uh, when you're finding a product, say we're going to do the barefoot, um, you know, maybe we have a uh, feet niche, which I've never actually heard of a foot niche, but you know, maybe someone has some, uh, someone has a foot knit, uh, kink and, uh, maybe they want some feet, uh, charms. I don't know. That's, they definitely sell. So apparently people want them. Uh, so this would, as you could see only 71 cents per lot. So I think it comes with, yeah, it comes with 10 pieces of that. So that is dirt cheap, and you could probably sell these for like ten bucks uh, for the charm. People people pay a lot for something that they care about. You know, if someone really cares about feet, maybe they're a podiatrist or something like that. You know, they like are a doctor for uh, people's feet. You know, maybe maybe they really care about feet, uh, and they'll definitely pay a premium for them. So that's kind of an example. And uh, like I was saying before, you want to make sure that it has ePacket um, when when you go to the shipping. Here, which you just you know select shipping 
uh, you go here, you click e packet, which is 12 to 20 days. The reason why you need e packet 12 to 20 days is because you don't want your customers waiting a long time. When you're doing drop shipping, it's going to already take, you know, 12 to 20 days is still a while already, but that's at least a lot quicker than 20 to 39 days. And then some of these other ones are a lot shorter, but they cost like way more than the money you would make from selling the products. So you can't do those. Uh, so you kind of have the off the option of the standard shipping um, or the e-packet, which e-packet's cheaper and faster in this case. But you definitely want to go with the e-packet over the free shipping from China Post because China Post takes 20, 39 days. You don't want your customers waiting. People are used to Amazon shipping times, which is, you know, within like a week or so. And so you even need to tell the customers when you're finding your products and you're, you know, you're starting your store to tell them, Hey, this is going to take two to four weeks because people don't expect long shipping times. And especially when you're drop shipping, that's pretty much the best you're going to get is 12 to 20 days, typically on a uh, drop shipped product from China. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind, uh, when you are selecting your products, but you know, let's say we want to find a different niche. Let's say we're not doing feet. You know, we could come back here to the category section uh, and let's go with, uh, something in sports and outdoors. You know, the, the options are unlimited here with what you want to do. Say you want to do a running store, um, and target people that are into running or let's do camping actually. So camping and hiking. So, you know, maybe you could sell a tactical backpack or something like that. Uh, let's, you know, sort it by orders because the whole reason why you sort it by orders as well. And I like to do the, uh, this view instead so you can see more products. Um, is because you want to make sure that, the cus that uh, people are actually buying this. If people are buying it off of AliExpress, people will buy it off of your store. You know, it shows that the product is a viable product. You know, you're not you're not trying to create a product or copy some other type of product. You know, you're 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 picking product. You're basically just reselling to a different market that doesn't have access to these products typically. It doesn't know about AliExpress and how to get these type of products. So you're you're pretty much just remarketing a product that's already selling well to people in other countries because, see, AliExpress, a lot of people in other countries uh, order from this website. It's just that a lot of Americans or, you know, even people from UK or whatever, they just don't know about AliExpress and what these products are, especially if you market to someone, you know, some grandma on Facebook that loves camping would have no idea what AliExpress is. And they're just like, oh, I love this uh, tent light. I mean, that's literally what uh, Walmart does all the time. They sell these same kind of products there for a huge markup, and they make a lot of money. I mean, Walmart's a very profitable company. So, you know, you take that as kind of an example uh, and just look at what they're reselling in stores and just resell it on your own website and market to people over Instagram or Facebook or however you plan on doing your marketing. But this is another sub niche right here, camping. You know, you find a camping light that uh, that looks good, and I've I know for a fact I've seen in other... Um, Shopify groups on Facebook, the people have sold this product right here. People have sold this product and probably made, you know, thousands upon thousands of dollars just off of this basic product. It's only a dollar twenty nine. You could probably sell this for fifteen dollars um, as a markup on your store, maybe even twenty. I mean, the options are endless. You know, you keep testing pricing to see what people will buy. But as you can see, there's a ton available. That's another thing you want to make sure that the uh, that there's plenty of availability because if there's only like ten or so. That would be an issue for you. Um, you want to be able to make sure you can sell it on your store for a while, um, and then also that the you know the store is that 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 the votes are well, the the product is well ranked is uh, another important factor. Obviously, they have a lot of orders, so you can see that this product definitely is a, a good looking product. You know, it kind of checks the box. It has e packet. Okay, that's like one check. You know, you got your plenty of availability, plenty of quantity here. Uh, it's got good ranking, good votes, and it's got a lot of orders. Now, another thing you could even double check on is look at the feedback. People will actually post feedback um, and see if it's good. You know, some this person said month in, and this is these are actual customer products. You could even use these as like reviews on your own page. You know, these are people that have have that have used the product. As you can see, it clearly works. Um, you know, this is another way to kind of check. Um, obviously, there's going to be some like some bad ones here and there. Maybe you know, it, like you know it doesn't work or whatever but i mean the majority of people as you can see here it's definitely uh working so yeah that's just something to keep in mind when you're searching for products and that's why I typically i typically stay away from anything within the consumer electronics section because there's a lot more moving parts that have potentials for messing up that's why i typically stick with just like simple stuff like maybe a light with a you know just uses a battery uh, there usually isn't too many issues with those kind of products 
thing that's stuck on this page. So, you know, like this, you know, there's no, there's no potential here for a backpack to get messed up. And this one actually has, wow, free shipping to the U S within nine to 18 days. So that one's, that one's one of those rare, uh, rare birds that has very fast, uh, United States, uh, drop shipping. Uh, not very, not very many products are like that, but this is one of those. So that's why I said most are going to be e packet, twelve to twenty days. But some you might be able to find that are actually pretty quick if you're going to be, uh, you know, drop shipping your products, which is a great way to do it because you don't have to touch it, you don't have to deal with it. It's uh, drop shipping is a great viable business model. So that's you know another another sub niche is like hunting, uh, maybe a hunting backpack you could you could do. I mean, there's there's tons of options here, but when you're making your store. You want to make sure you stick to your niche really well. You don't want to just have a bunch of random products. You don't want to have just like, oh, I'm going to do a, a charm, a foot charm. Oh, I'm going to do a backpack and uh, a light. You know, the backpack and light could go together because they're both within the camping sub niche. Uh, but you don't want to do something that's too outlandish. You want to make sure that it kind of fits within the same uh, subcategory when you're creating your store. Uh, so one more example for today, but I think you guys are kind of getting the picture is you want to, you want to make sure you're targeting a niche and, um, and sticking to that niche and finding people, uh, that are going to want to buy those type of products because you're, you're basically targeting a specific group of people that are passionate and, and, and presenting them with products that they're going to be interested in. And these are different, different sub niches that they've already kind of broken down for you here on AliExpress, um, for your dropshipping store that you could sell so let's go with uh sports watches uh yeah eh, maybe not the no nah, not the techie ones because those typically will mess up uh those typically have a lot of issues and it's not it's not a great idea to go with like i said any kind of consumer electronic that has the potential for being broken easily especially with uh, shipping from china so let's go with parkas let's say you want to do an outerwear brand you know that could work well uh, a men's outerwear company and you, you know you sell these kind of things these kind of uh, jackets here so you sell this one right here um, if you're now that is one thing to keep in mind if you are selling clothing the sizes are Asian sizes so you do have to just scale it back down if you're gonna be selling clothes so say if it was a medium that would actually be a, a American small that'd be an American medium american large like they you have to look into that specifically maybe see what people are saying about the sizing but that is something to keep in mind if you are going into a clothing based niche is you need to be looking at the sizing and adjusting it to the american sizes so that someone doesn't go ahead and order a medium expecting a medium and it's really a uh, american small um but yeah that's pretty much the niches you want to stick to them very well and that's how you can do product research is you know you make sure you have the e-packet um you know you have plenty of pieces available i'd say anywhere from like 500 to a thousand because they'll constantly be restocking them as long as there's plenty you know as high orders uh all those kind of factors right there and you've got yourself a product that you could be selling i mean this kind of jacket of this uh caliber of quality you, know, you could probably sell this for maybe 70 bucks on on a website you know, the, the options are unlimited um, for finding your products on AliExpress. But those are just different ways you can kind of look through the categories and find little niches. Maybe find a pocket that you like, maybe, and maybe start selling them on your own store. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you get started um, with selling your products and finding them for drop shipping through AliExpress. If you guys actually wanted to go ahead and um, sign up for Shopify, I actually have a shopify link below that will get you signed up with a free 14 day trial to get yourself started with your store um, if you guys have any questions please be sure to leave that down in the comment section below hit that subscribe button so you can be notified for future videos leave a like and i will see you guys in the next one peace out